All right, good evening, folks. I'm going to move this out of the way. I hate this setup. It's super touchy. And I think the USB where the camera links in is a little on the loose side. And so she will start and she will stop. It's a swag video. Uh, Tintackers.com, Jen and the guys up there, the group up there, whatever you want to call them, they just ran a $10 sale. I guess they're clearing out back stock. And so I said, what the hell? I've been waiting to add stuff to the wall. So when you look behind me in the videos, over my right shoulder, there's a couple of bottle openers and a mythosaurus skull. And I want to fill that space in because on the other side of the mask is the full sale sign. So I wanted something that's going to fit in there. So I ordered a cider sign because we do cider Sundays. It already started this video. And then the camera shut down. Boop. Son of a biscuit. So, um, excuse me. Ordered four pieces, came out to 50 bucks. Ooh, excuse me, excuse me. One of them's a really, really nice one. It's an oddly shaped one. It's a beer can. So, if you're going to collect tackers, and uh, this has bit me in the butt more times than once, I like the odd shaped ones. You know, you can always get the rectangular ones. They're always around. And then there's the regular circles. They're always around. But when you see the ones that aren't regularly shaped, those are always the ones to grab if you're going to collect. Right? So, I have an excuse. You've been here before. We do beer. So, I have beer crap all over the wall. So, I opened up the cardboard. And I reached in. And I pulled the first one out. Now, they had $10 mystery taggers. And if you bought more than one, Jen said she would guarantee that you would not get the same one twice, so she would space them out. I, I just bought one because I had already bought two others that I really wanted. Three others that I really wanted. Anyway. So the first one I opened up was the mystery tacker. I did not order this, although this is pretty freaking cool. That's pretty much what video games look like the last time I played one, which would have been 30 plus years ago when the boy was small and we had a Nintendo. This is 8-Bit uh, Aleworks, Legend of Zamur, double IPA. And uh, while I'm not sure they wanted it to look like a monkey holding a knife, it looks like a monkey holding a knife and he's got a big old hop bud in the middle of his chest. Aluminum. Cool. So we will go put this up unless I give it to the boy for his man cave. I might do that too. I don't remember seeing these listed, but this was definitely a mystery one. So maybe it was listed a while ago and they pulled it out. Let's look at the next one. Make your walls happy. I'm just trying to make my walls a little more 5G resistant, which is the other reason I'm buying metal signs to put up on them. Ah, okay, so this is the one, and I think it should fit. Okay, cider. So this is the one that's going to sit up above the window where the mythosaur skull and the bottle openers are. Again, aluminum. Sticker on the back from tintackers.com. Made in whatever state is shaped like a uh, meat cleaver. Is that Arkansas? Oklahoma? It's the one that sits right up on top of Texas. It's the one that sits on top of Texas. Arkansas, I think, right? I don't know. They didn't do geography when I was in school. Cool, though. The colors are nice. Uh, here's the third one. Let's see what this one is. Oh, okay. I did want to order this one. So what did I just say before? If you're going to collect the ones, always collect the funky looking ones. This is 222 Brew. I have no idea who they are. I have never drank their beer. We will find out, though. The rain is coming. Okay. My sister telling me the rain's coming. It's been a pretty rainy winter this year. Anyway... Again, aluminum, nice design, intricate and odd. 
makes it a little more collectible in my opinion but you know what my opinion's worth exactly how much you paid for it. and here's the last one and this was the one that I wound up spending the money on so this one was like $22.50 I think and I bought it because it was cool now here's another beer I have not drank although I will look for it if I ever run across it so uh, you've seen the bat squatch that sits up in the background these odd weird ones like this although it's not nearly as uh, uniquely designed as this one still really really cool and uh I'm going to have to figure out where I want them. Okay, so Highlander is out of Montana, by the way. It says it right up again. Um, wrapped in here, of course. I don't remember if I did it on the last video or on this one. I think it was on the last video that we lost. Was Full Sail Sticker. So they do stickers, and I think they do patches, too. Depending on what you want. My receipt. A thank you letter and she'll send me another one because I'll send it a link to the video she loves this stuff and then of course a sticker so not bad I walked out for 10 20 30 10 20 30 52 I think it was like 54 bucks I think again they're only 20 25 miles north of me up in New River so even by regular mail it's like two days today's Tuesday so maybe they shipped it out yesterday and it was here today. I'm good with that. But they're always on top of this stuff. And they, they update. Really, really solid company. Um, about all I got. The only other thing I'm going to leave you with is what I said before. When you see a buy them. Because they go out. And you don't get them again. It's happened to me twice. It pisses me. He who hesitates is lost. Thanks for coming by and putting some eyeballs on here, my friends. I appreciate it. Love you. Always want you to be the big three. I want you healthy. I want you happy. I want you safe. Vulnerable, dutiful, vigilant. Low and slow. Be the gray man under the radar. Head on a swivel. Keep situational awareness up. And of course, hot and handy. Because uh, it's just crazy out there. I will catch you on the next one. Till then, my friends. Cool.